Hi, I'm Edith Dre. I'm a holistic nutritionist and we're here in Vancouver in beautiful British Columbia in Canada and today I want to show you a really really cool plant uh, that I grew from seed for the first time. Uh, this is quinoa and um, I put the seed in the soil in April and voila uh, six months later I got this beautiful tall plant. I had actually no idea what it was going to look like. Uh, quinoa is a very special uh, seed. It's a seed, not a grain. It's from the amaranth family and it's been growing in South America for thousands of years. So it's uh, nothing new, but as you see, we can grow it in Vancouver as well. So why is quinoa so um, uh, good uh, for us to eat? Well, quinoa is a complete protein. So that means that it contains all nine essential amino acids that our bodies need to be well. And it's also a very good source of uh, several minerals like calcium and iron, potassium, magnesium, and fiber, of course, but also vitamin E, rich in vitamin E, and also the B vitamins. So that's why it's a really nutrient dense um, seed. And um, I want to show you today in this video clip, what are we going to do now that I have this beautiful plant? Uh, what are we going to do with it? How do we harvest it? Uh, how do we use it? So I'm going to um, cut this beautiful stem off because uh, right now uh, the plant is ready to harvest. We are uh, in October here in Vancouver. And as you can see, the leaves have uh, started to turn yellow and are starting to die off as you can see here and the days have started to get cooler so this is the time when you want to harvest and if you um, can see the seeds they're almost ready to pop out so this is the sign that it's ready so uh, we're gonna cut this off i brought my tool here and i'm just gonna cut this beautiful stem here off there we go and we're going to take this into the house and I'm going to show you how to um, dry it and then how to cook it. Let's go. Okay, so now we're inside here in my living room and we brought this beauty inside. Now the question is, what do we do with this? So obviously you can see all the little seeds in their uh, little pockets in the husks and we need to get those out. So how do we do that? Well, we cut uh, the stems off and we dry them. So I um, went ahead and dried some that I cut off a while ago. This has probably been drying for two weeks now. We'll take one of these stems and as you can see the seeds just sort of naturally fall off because they've been drying for a long time. And so we just put them on a plate like this. We can take the big stuff out and then we sort of massage it uh, between our fingers, which makes the husks and the seeds separate. And that's what we want. We don't want the husk, we just want the seeds inside. And then I put it through a strainer uh, just to get the debris and the, the small particles off. As you can see here, all this stuff we don't want. That's um, little pieces that we don't want, so we can put them through a strainer. But of course we still have uh, stuff here we don't want. So there is a method. You take a bowl of water and you just put this into the bowl. And as you can see here, I did this maybe an hour ago, the seeds slowly go down to the bottom and the debris, the husks stay on the top. And then all you do, uh, you can just take this off and you have the seeds left in the bowl. As you can see now we have the seeds on the bottom and all I have to do now is uh, get the water off and dry those seeds again because we want to store it. So we would put them, I would put them on a piece of cloth and uh, dry it for uh, maybe a week or two. So how do we cook quinoa? It's the easiest thing. So I do two cups of water, one cup of quinoa. Uh, some people do only one and a half cups of water. They want it drier. Um, put it in a pan, bring it to a boil, 
and then um, cover it and simmer it on very low for about 15 minutes and it's done and I've done this this uh, morning as you can see it's beautiful uh, seeds and has these little white tails uh, that's the sign that they're done when those little white tails uh, show and uh, one thing I forgot to tell you, make sure you rinse uh, quinoa before you cook it because it has a natural coating, a very bitter coating on it. It's called saponins and you need to rinse it otherwise it will be very bitter. Uh, there's different ways, there's a hundred different ways that you can use it. You can use it as a side dish, so instead of rice um, you can use quinoa, have uh, this complete protein. Uh, you can use it as a salad, so just throw a lot of different vegetables in here in a nice salad dressing and you have a quinoa salad. And I just want to uh, show you a really quick trick to make a really healthy, good breakfast. So uh, cook a big pot of quinoa the night before. And then put some of it into a bowl for breakfast. Um, I use uh, my own homemade uh, almond milk in another video. I'll show you how to do that. Very simple. So this is almond milk. You can put some of that. And then my favorite spice in the world is uh, cinnamon. I put cinnamon on, on everything. Um, but because it's fall and we are using a lot of pumpkin spice, I made my own uh, pumpkin spice mixture with cloves and nutmeg and cinnamon and cardamom. Uh, so that's another thing you can put on just to make a fall breakfast. And then add any fruit you want. So I had picked some strawberries, I have some in my garden as well. And there you go. And you got a beautiful, healthy, protein rich, nutrient dense breakfast really fast. And that's it for now. One thing don't forget to keep some of the seeds for next year. So you want to keep some of these, dry them, put them in an envelope, label them and leave them for next year so that you can grow quinoa again. I hope you like this video and I hope you try it out. See you next time.